What's up, guys? Welcome back to uh, the Bianconeiro Zone for another daily news video on this uh, Monday in a very important week. Uh, three things happening, you know, the appeal decision on Wednesday <coughs> on the 19th, the, um, the game uh, against Sporting on Thursday and the game on Sunday against Napoli, which is kind of a full circle because we knew the, the 15 points deduction after the Napoli game. We will know if it's going to stand before the Napoli game, but before two key games. So you might go into the Sporting game with you're not going to get those 15 points back and you're, it's going to be the way we are playing impossible to get into the top four without those 15 points or you're going to get into the Sporting game knowing you got that 15 those 15 points back, that's maybe a big weight off your shoulder and you can play more relaxed. So that's on the line this week. And uh, Alcon spoke. He spoke to the shareholders, basically. But he said some interesting things. Uh, so I'm going to discuss that uh, and some extra stuff. Uh, but before I do that, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification. Let's go. <laughs> So, uh, the big decision this week, you know, there are rumors that we're going to get those 15 points back. There are rumors that we're not going to get those 15 points back. I don't know. There shouldn't be rumors because the decision hasn't been made yet. So, in a, in a normal case, in a normal country, <laughs> in a normal situation, uh, this shouldn't be coming out, but whatever. Uh, it came out before we got those 15 points as well. It's coming out that we will get even more points after uh, for the wage thing. That's why they're waiting. It's a mess. We know that. But the final decision is this week. 15 points back or 15 points standing. Nothing in between. That's on the line. Now, I see the graphic is wrong. It's John Alcan who said that, not Allegri. Um, he spoke to the shareholders and he had this brief statement basically to say. I will read it out first. Uh, it's very small. I'm not sure why I did that. Uh, but I'll read it out and then I will go into it. I think everybody saw the statement by now, but I'm going to read it out. Uh, so it's to the shareholders. Uh, he said, Juve faced increasing internal and external difficulties in 22, which put the club under great strain. It was the legal actions against the club that ended up occupying the club's board of directors, which met 18 times during the year. The level of pressure has grown so great that the board of directors has decided to resign in order to allow the club to protect itself in the most effective way against accusations uh, from alleged accounting irre irregularities to inaccurate communications to the financial market relating mainly to the buying and selling of players and agreements on the salaries, UV denies any wrongdoing. So that's from John Elkan. So he basically is saying the board stepped down because what was going on... Uh, around behind the scenes with all these investigations was taking up so many times that the club couldn't function anymore in a normal way and to protect the club they all basically left that's what he's saying he's also saying not we did nothing wrong everything was done as it should have been done he also thanked Agnelli for steering the ship in the difficult times blah blah, blah all the usual stuff so this is powerful statement i'm gonna say because you're talking to your shareholders and yes you need to say we did nothing wrong but he he's firm about we did absolutely nothing wrong he's backing his previous board saying they didn't leave because they did something wrong but because the investigations that was taking up so many times the club couldn't function anymore in a normal way now that's the part i won't believe because i do believe we have we did something wrong. Do I think what's coming out, it's to extend to get so many points deducted? No, because the point deduction are on rules. Not on rules, are on assumptions. Uh, it's not a set rule that says you get points uh, deduction for this, this, and this. It's an open rule, Article 4. You can fill it in with whatever you have in your imagination. That's a big issue. Um it goes from asking min, uh, for minus 9 to minus 15. It's very random. It feels very random. It's based on wiretaps that are very irrelevant to what they are accusing us of. Uh, so all that makes me think that, okay, I don't know what we did wrong, 100%, because, again, you don't need to go on Twitter and believe everything and all those things, because 
to this day, there are still no real facts. The facts are that we overvalue players as of now. <clears throat> if you want to go wild about that, then yes, you're going to arrest and punish every single club on planet Earth. That's what's going to happen. So you can go on Twitter and read all the weird things, or you can just stick to what's coming out. Now, the wage thing, that will come out later on. You know, after this, you, you might get those 15 points back on Wednesday and on Thursday. And then in two weeks' time, I think it is, uh, you will get, hey, here you go, 25 because of wages based on Article 4 again. So the club is saying no, or John Alcon is saying no. We did absolutely nothing wrong, and we stand, stand firm by our uh, standpoint, our decision, and everything we believe in at the club, excuse me. So that's a strong statement, uh, in my opinion. Um, you need to fight it. You need to come out and protect the club, obviously. Um, but again, it's, 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 it, it's a very important week. You know, um, if you don't, like, the Sassuolo game kind of needs to tell you if you don't get those 15 points back, you're, you're done for next season. You're not going to get into Champions League. You need that money. You know, you wait for Zoom, their investigations, but they're not going to finish that before the new season starts, apparently, even then. Uh, it, it seems that if something is up, it will, you know, be pushed to a settlement and all those things. But you need the Champions League money. You just need. You lost so many money, so much money already because you dropped out of the Champions League. Like paying, playing Europa League is nothing. If you win it, even then, you made less than if you just passed the group, basically. So we lost money. You're gonna lose more money if you don't get those 15 points back because the way we're playing. Yeah, we'll be absolutely stunned <laughs> if we get into the top four. I know the teams above us are not good as well, but they have still a, a six, seven point cushion, you know, and we are not any better than them. You know, we're not playing any better than them. So it's a big week. It's a big week. Also ahead of Thursday, you know, this team is weak. Like it's weak mentally. I'll bring it up again. Nothing against Fajoli. I think it will be a very good player for us, but you can like we... We have had players crying twice this, this season for losing against us all on the way to Monza. Like, this, this team in general is just weak. Mentally, they're weak, you know. I'm not saying don't show emotions, but you're crying in front of the camera, on the pitch, against Monza as well. I've never seen anything before like this, ever, twice in a season. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. Never, you know. Crying? I don't get it twice, a whole team? Absolutely, yeah. Like I'm, I'm shocked. <laughs> like I still cannot believe that that happened. You know, the the team is weak. I we talk about leaders. Is Danilo a leader? And yes, he says the right thing, but I don't feel it. I, again, I'll keep saying it, and that's not to single out Danilo. You know, but I don't feel him as a natural leader. Like that. You know. Watching the club, watching the team, I'm like, yeah, he is the leader. It, it feels very forced to me. And this team collapsed with a single thing that happens on the pitch. They completely collapse. They cannot respond. And it's also on coaching and all those things. So what's going to happen if they get told you're not going to get those 15 points back? That's not on them. I get that. that They have nothing to do with it. But I'm just saying, if you don't get those 15 points back, I think we're dusted. You know, this team is... is uh, it will get fried mentally completely. That's just my opinion. So it's a big week, you know, because you can have completely out of the top four and out of the Europa League. And the following week, if things go wrong, you can be out of the Coppa Italia as well. No final. So it's a crazy month, a very crazy month. We knew that. And we said it could go very well or very bad. It's going, it's leaning towards going very bad at this moment in time. If you look at the results, it's not looking very good. So again, Tomorrow we have a chill day, and then the, the yeah, then the big decision, you know, uh, because this decision will have a big impact on next season. Are we gonna can are we pass? Are we able to sign players? Who's gonna leave? Who's willing to stay? Who's who does not want to stay? And all those things is Allegri gonna walk? A lot of things to unfold, unpacked in the coming hours, basically. But let's say two uh, two weeks. Um, so yeah. Very worrying times, in my opinion. Um, but again, let's see. Let's wait and see. Um, but let me know in the comments, because 
what? No, I'm not gonna ask. Do you think we get those 15 points back? Yes or no? Because that's like a toss up. We don't know. You know, anything can happen in that country. But I will ask you: Do you believe? Because looking at the table, you might saying, "Ah, seven points. That's not that much." But there are not many games left, and we still have to play Milan, Atalanta, Napoli. Um, so it's not a given, you know. Uh, so do you believe, even without those 15 points, that we will get into the top four? Or do you believe we will win the Europa League and get into the top in top four and get in the Champions League? Let me know in the comments. Please like the video. Subscribe to the channel. I will be back live tomorrow with a member. So stay tuned for that. And then on Wednesday, obviously, we'll unpack all the, you know, breaking news that uh, is unfolding that day. And then Thursday, match day, as a... Uh, as usual, the usual stuff. So uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and see you tomorrow.